Greetings, one and all, from the Second Age of Reason. We're going to talk a little bit about climate change. Some people call it global warming. Some people deny it exists. As you can see around me, we have snow. And truth be told, it's still autumn. We still have another month to go till winter even gets here. So one would say, what do you mean global warming? And I'm thinking, you've all missed it completely. You've missed the total climate change thing. I don't really want to call it global warming because it might not be warming as you perceive warming. But there's a change, a very great change that's taken place in the past hundred years or so. And I'm going to tell you about it. Unless you've Googled it. Have you Googled? Well, maybe you have, maybe you haven't. But that's one of the symptoms. Is that the whole thing surrounding us, we, they sometimes call it Wi-Fi, or Internet. It's not just on a wire, a little piece of copper, insulated with rubber, or whatever, that carries it anymore. It permeates everything. It goes through us. It goes through buildings. It goes through the trees and the rocks and the snow and everything. You know, you can't see the Wi-Fi. But that's not the point. The point is it's there. And it's everywhere. And this Wi-Fi is a form of radiation. And it's actually probably in the radio frequencies, uh, similar to microwaves. So in a sense, all of the planet is being cooked with this radio wave information. And you and me are all being exposed to it. We have the Google running through us. The internet everywhere. And this is probably causing subtle small changes in our cellular structure, over time causing mutations. And mutations may be a form of evolution and it may not be beneficial to the species. I'm not sure we can adapt to it. It may be changing you at the level of your genetic code and so when you start putting your genetic code together in coming generations, they may not be viable at some point. Hence comes our extinction. So, also, it's not just the Wi-Fi. I'm sure you use the microwave oven to cook. You're exposing yourself there to this radiation. I'm sure you watch television, on, and a lot of it is on satellite. And as you drive through the cities, through cellular phone areas, you're getting hit left and right and up and down and all around by this radiation. It's not atomic radiation. It's radio radiation. And although it's not radioactive, it is having an effect on you and me and all the creatures and animals and plants and bacteria and everything because it's everywhere. This is the climate change that I think we've overlooked. They're going to keep pointing and saying... Oh, the oil stuff, it'll get warmer. Well, if it gets warmer, we'll turn on the air conditioners. Or the carbon in the atmosphere and soot are going to make it colder. If it gets colder, we'll turn up the furnace. We can adapt. But can you adapt to giving up radio? Radio waves, cell phones, broadcasting, internet. Because that's where it might end up going. Nobody's addressing that issue yet. How long are they going to wait until the entire species is unviable? I don't know. But you might want to start talking and doing research with scientists and politicians about this one. Because it's going to get to us eventually. It's going to start being noticeable. You know, you might not feel yourself being cooked in the microwave oven. But you are, even if it raises your temperature a thousandth of a degree, it's having an effect. 
And so, I'm just bringing this for us to discuss. Put comments below and rate as you will. And so, that's where I'm going to leave it. Climate change. Earth. We have all this communication in Google. And you wonder, why haven't we actually seen much first contact with aliens? Well, you know, at Earth, with all of its media noise to outer space, if they don't have a tuner that's tuned in to our frequencies and coding, would look at Earth and see a bright and shining star like a quasar. Something to be avoided. And thus they're going to stay away. And the reason we can't transmit to them, or they can't transmit to us, is when you put your information into radio waves and whatnot, you have to encode it so that it can be pulled off of those waves. And unless they have the very same encoding and decoding, or we have the same, you're not going to be able to make heads or tails of the radiations that are coming and going through outer space or here on the planet. So I just thought I'd mention that about the climate change as it pertains to the invisible radio radiation, RF radiation. And to think that they're thinking about probably implanting people with RF, what do they call those, um, RF tracker chips. Then you'll have to go between more RF to be identified by the human inventory control. Anyway, that's enough. Discuss it. Talk to you later. Be seeing you.